Welcome back. I'm really excited this afternoon because we are going to study on Transformer. I call it Transformer 1 because I have a few lessons on the Transformer. Be transformed now, meaning that you can change and be a better physics student after each lesson with me. So come with me and I'll guide you along. And for today's lesson, my objective is that after what I have explained to you, you will understand transformers better and you can work out the calculations involving transformers. And I would like to remind you again, each time as you study, do not just read and try to memorize. It does not work. What works is that you must try out the questions, answer the questions and uh, do rehearsal. Treat the questions like an examination. Alright, we'll go straight into the question. Let's say you are given a question like number 36 here. The diagram shows the structure of an ideal transformer. There is a diagram there given to you. And the question is, what is the potential difference across the bulb? That is the question. I have got a few suggestions for you all. Now, as you look at this question, there are a few things that will come to your mind. First and foremost, in my opinion, you must simplify the question. Now, what is the best way? Let me let you take a look at that. All right. Even before we look at the formula concern, there are two things that you must do. Number one, sketch a circuit, a very simple diagram of the transformer. Because when you do that, everything becomes easier, it is concrete, and then you understand it in the picture form. And number two, after that, you start doing the calculation. All right, let us now sketch the circuit first. Let's go back to the diagram. Now look at this diagram. You have a transformer. First and foremost, ask yourself, what kind of a transformer is this? Is it a step up? transformer or a step down transformer you have here 80 turns and you have here 20 turns all right so it goes down so it is a step down transformer and with a step down transformer what you can do is just make a simple sketch and this is 240 volts alternating current in the primary coil. Alright, now let us do the sketch now. I would recommend that you just make a very simple one. Okay. So it is a step down transformer, right? Now this is very good for revision for physics. This is symbolic, alright. So what you do is this. So this is our alternating current. How many volts from the diagram? Write down 240 volts AC. Alright. And here the number of turns that we were given just now was 80 turns. Alright. Double check it. Look at it again. 80 turns, 20 turns on the other side. Okay, let's go back to the diagram. This is 80 Tins. And this is 20 tins. Alright. And here you have the bulb. Okay. So if you look at the question, it says, what is the potential difference across the bulb? What is the potential difference here? Now with this diagram, everything is like, it becomes a clear picture. This is the secondary, on the right hand side is the secondary coil, so I call it Vs. The number of turns, I call it number of turns in the secondary coil, Ns. Number of turns on the primary coil is Np. And what about 240 volts AC? It is called the primary voltage. So, this is Vp. Now, for physics, 
for any topic, it is very important for you to write down the subscript. Now, what I mean is this. The subscript, very important. The subscript, S. Alright? So, this is number of tens in the primary. The potential difference in the primary coil. Number of tens, secondary. Number of tens, and sorry, this is the potential difference across the bulb in the secondary coil. Okay, now we are ready to look at the formula. Look at this formula. Ns over Np equals to Vs over Vp. Alright. So let's write it down again. Ns over Np will give us Vs over Vp. Now, we need to calculate what is Vs. Do I have Ns? Yes. Do I have Np? Yes. Do I have the value of Vp? Yes. And what do I want to calculate? I need to calculate the value of Vs. That is the question. So, all I have to do is to substitute the values of Ns, Np, and Vp into the equation and I can get the value very easily. Okay, let's do it. I'll just do it on the right-hand side here. Now, Vs will give me Vp multiplied by Ns divided by Np. And what is Vp? 240 volts. All right, multiplied by Ns. Now, it's very important. I just refer to the diagram. I get my values. Ns is 20 turns. Divided by NP. NP is 80 turns. It's clear, right? Please write down the units every time. Now, if you do not believe me that the units are so important, I'll show you something. If you do not write down the units, you will be writing this down. 240 multiplied by 20 divided by 80. It doesn't mean anything. And this is not physics. This is just numbers. Arithmetic. If you do not write down units, you find that you will not be able to understand physics. So, it is very, very important to have the units in all the time. The moment you have units, the concepts become very clear. Then you know what you are writing. You know what you are doing. It's not just numbers. So follow my instructions and you will be transformed. Alright? So what I do now is, you see, the turns, I cancel it off. Now this is very simple. 20. You can use your calculator. I do manual. So the answer I get, 60 volts. So in short, if I go back to the original diagram, what is the potential difference across the bulb? This diagram is not as clear as the diagram that I have just given to you. So the answer is 60 volts. All right. So the potential difference, the potential difference across the bulb, which is the potential difference in the secondary coil, it is 60 volts as I have just calculated and shown to you. So it's very simple. Look out for other questions in Transformer, work it out, and then you follow my, my uh, method, sketch the diagram, write down every item, subscript, put down the units, and you'll find that it is very simple. Alright, I think you're happy. And if you're happy, I'm happy. Alright, so I'm sure now you are able to solve calculation problems involving the transformer. So with that, I would like to say thank you very much and may God bless you.